So welcome to season 3 episode 15 of the F122 My Team Cremo Tale for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Last episode in Portugal we won the Grand Prix um, after an epic battle with Max Verstappen and Charles Stuckler. And also this episode I have a chance of winning the Drivers' Championship if we get them in or finish on the podium. And also we won the Constructors' Championship last episode with 405 points. So 98 points ahead of Scuderia Ferrari. So this is one of the best seasons. So this has been the best season we've had for Porsche. Here in this My Team Crew mode. And for Casper Racing. So. Let's. Go. Protect some stuff. For the R&D changes coming up. Yep, so um, I have tons of stuff I still need to left to protect. So let's get into qualifying for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Qualifying for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. And I'm just gonna do something quickly. And there we go. So, let's hope we get a good qualifying. And if we don't, we always have to sprint race. To hopefully gain some positions in. But we are dropping down the grid. We are dropping down the grid. And we're not having a good sprint race on qualifying at all. Don't know why you're saying sprint race. So I'm gonna break. Break again. And speed back up again. There we go. And it looks like we're gonna be qualifying P6 for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. P8, maybe. Ninth. That is unless some of the Hennovers has a good penalty. But this is only for the sprint race. Remember. So, yeah. Look, Claire's on the pole. Gasly P2 and Verstappen P3. We are down in P9. Ahead of the Porsche and Valtteri Bottas. And then in last of the two volumes, Stroll, the Rivola, Joe and Sonoda. So let's get down to the grid for the Sao Paulo Sprint Race. Down on the grid for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix Sprint Race. So let's get to the five red lights. So it's the five red lights for the Sao Paulo Sprint Race. And that's Right, so on the way we go, we get a pretty bad start from P9 as we get overtaken by Theo Porsche. We almost run into the back of Daniel Ricciardo and the McLaren and S. Van Ocon and the Ferrari. We have dropped down to P10, which is not good. Our teammate Pierre Gasly has taken the lead of the Grand Prix. Now we break. Theo Porsche is battling with Daniel Ricciardo and gets the overtake on Ricciardo. But Ricciardo is going to go down the inside to regain the out that overtake. And Ocon has now got an overtake by on Porsche. And we have also gotten the overtake on Theo Porsche as well. So we are back up into P9. We are started. I mean, this has not been a good start to the Grand Prix for us, but a good start to the Grand Prix for Pierre Gasly. And could be on to win the Grand Prix. Possibly. 
So Russell is up into P3 and overtaking Max Verstappen. Ricardo has had a really good start to the race. Albon has gone into the pit lane. Latifi and Deliver are battling with each other. And they are still. So the Alpha Romeo is going to go around the outside of Latifi. And they are battling each other. And the river gets ahead of Nicholas Latifi. And Albon has had gone to the pit lane due to that car damage. So Pierre and Gasly looks like to be gaining on Charles Leclerc. And we're not gaining any time on Esteban Ocon. Going on to lap 3 at the end of this sector. So that is not good. But we have gained. But Porsche's lost time on us. Which is good. Now I'm born is 26 seconds behind Latifi. So I thought I was real life. Latifi would be 26 seconds behind 20th. And Marzipan would be like one whole minute behind 20th place. Or two, like, yeah. So it's my knock on this not seem to be gaining on Daniel Ricciardo. Who we are looking to try to get a contract with for next season. So, yeah, but we don't know if he's going to accept it or not. So if not, we're going to have to look somewhere else now. I do have my eyes on some of the drivers. So you're now going into lap 4 of the Grand Prix. Here in Sao Paulo. And also, next episode will be the season finale. For season 3. I mean, do not, and we get a new teammate every season, and we will not keep Pierre Gasly for another season because we want like to mix it up a little and just see, try and improve drivers and get them competing for race wins and podiums. So, yeah, Pierre Gasly has had a really good race for us. Here at Porsche. So Russell is two seconds behind Charles Leclerc. And we are five tenths of a second behind Esteban Ocon, well, six tenths now. And we now have DRS to try and catch up to Esteban Ocon. Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. George Russell and Banton with each other. When Staffan has gotten the overtake on Russell. Now, Sergio Perez is looking to get the overtake on George Russell. But Russell forces Perez off the track. And they are still going side by side. And Sergio Perez stays ahead. Now, Lando Norris has caught up to. George Russell. And you're catching up to Esteban Ocon. And cause of that. And you made slight contact with him right there. So we are now going through the final sector here on lap 5. You lose some time going out of the corner. But. Hopefully we'll be able to get the overtake of DRS. I feel close enough. But I don't think we are. And also this one's going to be quite long because of this sprint race. Like about 5-6 minutes longer. So about, the episode will be about 35 minutes. I think. 
So you're now on the final lap of the race. It's, it's now or never to get the overtake on Esteban Ocon. And it looks like Pierre Gasly is going to go on to win the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. So, um, going to go down the inside of Ocon and get the overtake for P8 and hopefully score a point in this race. But Pierre Gasly is now a Formula 1 Sprint Race win, Grand Prix winner, or Sprint Race winner. And we are going to finish P8 and that's where we'll start for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix later on this episode. So driver of the day is Pierre Gasly who ended up winning the Grand Prix and getting the second sort of race win. Not really. Because he got that win in Italy 2020. So we get one point going into the drivers and construct well nine points going into the constructors, but one point going into the drivers. So it's been a great race for Porsche. Or well, for one of the drivers anyway. So let's get to the main race of the weekend. Now the only good for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. And sorry for having that in terms and conditions up on screen for most of the sprint race. And because when I was recording with the Xbox app, I was looking at my um, TV screen and I noticed that was appearing up. So sorry about that. But Lance Stroll has a good penalty and is starting last for the Grand Prix here in Brazil. So let's get to the five red lights. So it's the five red lights for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix and that's lights out on the way we go. We get a good start from P8 as we're going to go and try and get the overtake on Ricardo and possibly Lando Norris as well and we do and we almost make contact. Um. John Ganyu is looking to get the overtake on Schumacher. Well, TV is getting the overtake on John Ganyu. And they're battling with each other still. And after scoring the overtake on George Russell, Ryan going down the inside here. Am I of Went on the grass a little, but that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, Hand the River and Lance Troll are battling with each other. And the Alpha Romeo and Aston Martin. Charles Sinclair has got in the lead from Pierre Gasly. We are on board with George Russell and the Alpine. Here on this main street. Russell is going to get the overtake on us, and he does. I'm going to go down the side into turn 1 slash 2, and maintain that position here in Sao Paulo. So, Russell still looking to get the overtake, to maintain the overtake. But we are going to try not let that happen. So, this fast forwarding this a bit because Kyle of the race was quite boring I'll see so Sonoda has this overtaken Nicholas Latifi Latifi has just gotten the yachting back on Sonoda Sonoda is going to go down the inside of Latifi and stay ahead of Nicholas Latifi and the Williams. So all of the Italian Williams. Well, but Schwartzman is down in P19. It's not been a good race for him. We are in P5 still. Which is kind 
a normal place to be. Latifi has just gotten Neil Tink on the Robert Schwartzman, while well as just lost Neil Tink on Halloween because of the RS. And of course, Latifi is dropping down the grid. In this career mode, well, of course, Latifi is the only driver not to score any points yet. In both and all three seasons. Hopefully, he can score points next season if he isn't kicked out of volumes. Or if he somehow gets to a better team because that happens somehow here in this game. Lap 5 of the Grand Prix, we are on a bit wide, as you can see ahead of Russell, we are on board of George Russell and the Alpine, and Russell is going to try and get you to go through the DRS, we can't do anything to defend, but we are going to dive down the inside and me and gain the overtaking, cut the corner a little. Charles Sinclair is still leading the Grand Prix in the Ferrari. Russell goes on the curb. You make contact. You're still battling with each other. I won very right. I almost, well, almost at Russell. When I came back on track there. But luckily we didn't. Because I was having a big crash. If we did. So, Charles and Chris comfortably lead in the Grand Prix. And, with six times ahead of Pierre and Gasly, we are four seconds behind Max Verstappen. But on Russell, we to mean, get an overtake on us as we go off the track slightly. No, I don't think he will. Yes, he will actually. But luckily the corner comes just in time. And you still stay ahead of George Russell. And you'll hopefully stay in P6. Or P5, I mean. For the rest of the race. Ajon Ganyu is battling with Yuki Sonoda and going side by side. And now. Robert Shorts when he's joined the fight. Sonoda stays ahead. We are on board of Sean Granu and the Aston Martin. Here in Sao Paulo. On lap 7. And... Charles Sinclair is going into the pits, this happens here with Gasly and Verstappen, but we are going to stay out. We could have done the double stack, but I didn't want to risk it. George Russell is going into the pit lane. We are up into P2, but only for a small amount of time. So our teammate is now in the pit stop. Russell is in the pit stop. Lance Troll is in last. Schumacher is in the pit stop. Same with Bottas and Snowden and Lance Troll. Yep, and Albon. Sergio Perez is leading the Grand Prix. He will lap here with 10 laps left to go. We are 7 seconds behind. Which is quite bad. I'm not really the best at Brazil. Well, I can't really get close to the AI in Brazil because of the AI speed. Here on this game. Magnus is Magnus Sinners in P6. We are going into the pit stop. Perez is already in the pit stop. Ricardo is behind us. So we're going to turn it in to the pits to get try to change onto the hards from the softs. 
And I'm only gonna get a handle for George Russell. That's your question. Ryan Paul Norris and Ricardo are actually, well, Norris is actually a head of Russell. He must have, Russell must have been held up in the pit lane. Ryan Paul Norris is looking to get the overtake on us. And Norris is not looking to get the overtake. But we stay ahead. Of Lando Norris and the McLaren. So I'm just gonna fast forward. Oh, let's stop here. So Norris is trying to get the off take on us, as you can see in the mirror. I'm gonna go around the outside, we make contact with his back right tyre. And we are ahead of Lando Norris in P5. Next race in Abu Dhabi is all going to come down for the championship. So you're on board with Lando Norris. And he's going to go down the inside and we make contact. And Lando Norris has a destroyed front one. And this is the second time we've made Big contact with Lando Norris here in Brazil. So let's see, go on board with him. So here's when I make quite a little bit of a mistake. Norris sees the gap. We go to cover him off. We don't leave him in the room. We make the contact, destroy his front man. And then that's... Uh, yep, this is not all good, but luckily we never took any damage from that somehow even to the underbody. So now we see it from our POV. And to Lando Norris has gone into the pit lane to get his tires changed. And we are in on lap eleven. And we are still ahead of George Russell. And this man on one point three seconds. Um, behind Russell and we mean contact with Russell there but it never came to anything much so on lap 13 we are back on board with us going through the final sector Lando Norris is in last, sadly, because we've had another major crash with him here in Brazil. Brazil does just not link us me racing with Lando Norris. Hmm. So Russell of DRS is going to link to get the overtake on us. And he doesn't. So we are going to stay on board with him, with me. And if you hear the back, and if you hear the voice in the background, just ignore that. So we go off to block Russell, and I think he may have made contact with his front man, and I don't know if that has damage to it. So if it does, I'm sorry, George Russell. Does it have damage? Yes, it does, as you can see. That is not good. So 
So, in the Charles Sinclair, has led most of the Grand Prix, except for the stages in the pit stop. And, a team, and I don't know what happened to Pierre Gasly. George Russell has gone into the pit lane because of the front wind damage. He's still in P5. Kevin Magnussen is up into points. And Russell is dropping down the grid. Will he get out ahead of Lando Norris? No, he doesn't. So now on the final few laps of the Grand Prix here in Sao Paulo. And also, this has been a really good season for us. And hopefully we can go on to win the Drivers World Championship and our first World Championship in this Queen mode. Here for Casper Racing slash Porsche. As we go on to lap 17. And you're 1.3 seconds ahead of Esteban Ocon. The Frenchman in the Ferrari. Ahead of the Australian of Daniel Ricciardo. And the other Frenchman of Theo Porsche. So there's three French on people on the grid. So yeah, we've had quite a good race. Gaining four positions. I think, no, three. As George Russell and Nicholas Latifi are going side by side with each other, and Latifi gets the place. And surprisingly, Joe Granu is last and not Nicholas Latifi. Norris has gotten into P19. Lance Troll is having a battle with Alexander Albon, but I don't think he'll lead to anything. As we're about to go on to the final lap of the Grand Prix here in Sao Paulo after I think quite a long episode and all that excited over the race and like the race is in real life where they're always exciting and stuff happens every lap or most laps so we came to the first sector and I would say they're going to be finishing P5. And we're 10, 20 seconds behind Max Verstappen. And then quite a few seconds, like 22 seconds behind Charles Leclerc, who is a Grand Prix winner here in Brazil. Gas Perez, Perez to P2, Gas to P3, Verstappen P4. We can go on to the final sector to finish P5. And Pierre Gassi's driver of the day. Charles Leclerc finishes first, pairs P2, Gasly P3, and mounting out the points of Verstappen, Mior, Contact, Nuno, Cardo, Porsche, Tecton, and Magnussen. Mountain out the rest of the grid: Schumacher, Bottas, Lawson, Sonoda, Shorts, from Stroll, Albon, Norris, De River, Russell, Latifi, and Joe. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and goodbye.